Hello everybody, Trello here, and welcome to our first episode on the Firebirds dev server. And we're going to be starting off with a vehicle I've been looking forward to for a very long time, and that is the T-77E1 anti-air vehicle, which is coming in at rank 2 between the M16 and M19 at battery rating 3.7. So as you can see, this is basically the M24 light tank chassis, but with a new turret housing 6 machine guns. So you can see the turret itself is not particularly well armoured, only 12.7mm. The plexiglass up here is not armoured at all, though the crew doesn't really stick their heads out much, so you shouldn't be under too much threat from being shot by enemy ground vehicles, but enemy aircraft can definitely hit those crew members. Although the commander can take over firing the main guns if the gunner is killed. There's also gaps around the mantlet, which uh, yeah, does make this a bit of a problem against enemy machine gun fire or explosives. But as you can see, we have got these six 50 cal machine guns, which will make this absolutely lethal against enemy aircraft. And they are very fast targeting, thankfully. It's got a targeting speed of 39 degrees in the horizontal, 34 degrees in the vertical. And it can fire almost straight up, because it's got an elevation of 85 degrees. And each of these machine guns carries 1,100 rounds. So you've got about 6,600 rounds altogether. So you're not going to be running out of ammunition anytime soon. And if you manage to get to a reload point, it takes about 15 seconds to reload your main armament. So we're going to take this out for a test drive just to see how it performs against enemy aircraft. So we're going to start off by just showing off the targeting speed. As I said earlier, it is very quick to uh, move around. We're going to start off by engaging this Heinkel 111. And it's quite easy to... Oh, look at out very quickly. Very easy to adjust your aim with the tracers. There is a BF-110 over here. As you can see, it's a bit further away and it is a bit harder to hit further away targets. But in ground forces, enemies are probably going to be diving towards you. So this isn't going to be as much of an issue. Of course, the later M19 with its bofa guns might in theory be better at longer range fire. But it also slower firing weapons. So they're not. I don't particularly find much success in long range fire with them. And there's the bomber again. You can see with the 50 cows, even if you don't necessarily destroy the aerial vehicle, you can quickly cause massive damage to it. Like it's not going to be in the air for much longer. And of course, these are 50 cow machine guns, so they're not going to be the best against enemy ground vehicles. But you can still get some success. Because we're at rank 2, so you can still go against some Panzer 4s. And as you can see, we can quickly get through the thin side and rear armour of them. Even if we haven't necessarily killed this tank, we have definitely crippled it. Taking out the tracks, the engine, crew members. Oh, there goes the bomber. Like I said, we caused lots of damage to it earlier. And of course, even if you can't get through the armour of enemies, you can definitely detrack them very quickly. So we go against the Panzer II. Just some short bursts have taken out both tracks. Against soft skin vehicles, of course, it's very lethal. Now we we'll try it against the Panzer IV. And against the Panther in the distance. So yeah, even if I can't necessarily kill these enemies, I can definitely make their life a living hell and make them much easier prey for my teammates. Just got to make sure you're not hit by the return fire because otherwise you will be destroyed extremely quickly because, again, this is only a light tank with a very lightly armoured turret. And you have also got artillery for use against some more heavily armoured enemies. And there is the driver view. And there it is at maximum elevation. Like I say, you can fire almost straight up. And in all that round of firing, we've barely gone through half of our ammunition. Like I say, you're not going to run out of ammunition on this anytime soon. So we're just going to quickly return to the hangar. And so that is the T-77E1. And I must say, this is a vast improvement to America's anti-air capabilities. It's a bit of a shame that it's at rank 2, because of course, one of the problems with the... M19 and M42 was that you couldn't effectively research rank 5 vehicles with them. Of course, America has been given the skink, so you can research with that, but at least we have got an option at tier 4. And yeah, like I say, I think a lot of players are probably going to be sticking with the T77E1, even at rank 3, because they're just so much more effective than those Bofa cannons. They're just so much more user friendly, especially to newer players. And so I think this will have some massive success in game when it's introduced. 
Anyway, that's just a quick look at the T77E1. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I've been Toreno, and I'll see you next time.